The priority is to question Asha. The priority is to question Asha. He's not in any condition to be questioned. I have to find a way to sober him up. Mes amis, I can say without a doubt that poor Mrs. Asher was killed between half past five and six. Killed when the street was packed with people. That's rather bold. I've been talking to the neighbors and... No one's seen anything? Or rather it's anything and everything. Am I wrong? <sighs> no. Yeah. We must grill this villain Asher before he falls asleep again. This man is in rather a bad state. This man has been fighting and he smells of alcohol. What were you doing yesterday at the time of the crime? Can't recall. Come on, my friend. Try to remember. It is important. I'm really sorry, sir. But I don't remember a thing. I see. But maybe you do remember threatening to kill your wife? So what? You shouldn't take things so seriously, sir. Nothing but empty threats. We didn't get on all that badly. Are you often involved in fights? I don't know what you mean. Asha, look me in the eye and tell me that you were in a fight. I'm looking. I'm looking. No, I wasn't in a fight. You are right. Looking at the state of you, you did not defend yourself. So someone gave you a good beating. A beating? No way! All right, he tore my coat and gave me a black eye. You see the state of him? Very interesting. Who is the other that you struck? Probably best if I tell you everything. Yesterday afternoon, I met Roderick Tanner. We'd bet on a dog fight together. An illegal bet, naturally. Yes, sir. Our dog won. Roderick got the money, but he refused to give me my share. And you thought about it. What time was this? In the evening, about six, I think. We were on the other side of town. You see, I couldn't have killed my wife. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work.
the murderer probably pretended to be a customer. He hit the shopkeeper from behind as she turned around to serve him. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. Murderer deliberately left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Endover leaves little doubt. Asher's alibi appears to be confirmed. All the same, I'm going to call and check that he did have a fight with this Tanner on the afternoon of the murder. You can never trust this sort of chap. One thing is certain, Asher was a ruffian who used to beat his wife. But he is not very educated. It certainly was not him who wrote the letter signed ABC. Let's resume these things. We know the murderer pretended to be a customer. He did not kill her for money, that appears to be certain. I agree with you on that point. And the murderer left an ABC guide as a signature. Therefore, it's likely he wrote the letter. Indeed, but that doesn't explain why and how he did it. You are quite right. Why he did it is a mystery. But as for how he did it, we do know enough to try and reconstruct the events. The killer enters the shop. Mrs. Asher turns around to greet her customer. The murderer asks her for some tobacco. She turns her back to him. He seizes the opportunity to strike her. and places the ABC upside down before leaving. Everything appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Asher has a strong alibi and we don't have any other suspect. But what was the point of this crime? She had no debts. She gave Franz Asher money regularly. She wasn't owed money. Nobody stood to gain anything. No doubt about it. The murderer is insane. Hmm. And I fear that we had not heard the last of him. I hope you're wrong for once. Bien. Let's go back to London. If we hurry, we should catch the two past seven train. Are you coming? No, unfortunately, I have to talk with Andover police. See you soon, then. Are you coming, Hastings? Let's go home. There's nothing for us here. Well, do you have any idea about the killer's identity? Hmm. The crime was committed by a man of medium height, with red hair and suspicious eyes. He has a slight limp on the right foot and a wart just below his shoulder blade. Poirot! Mon ami, what do you want? 
You fix upon me a look of dog-like devotion and demand of me a pronouncement a la Sherlock Holmes. Now for the truth. I do not know what the murderer looks like, nor where he lives, nor how to set hands upon him. What shall we do then? Nothing. Nothing? Do not be so impatient, Hastings. The killer will manifest himself soon enough. I thought I heard the postman. Maybe there's some news. I would go and see. Daily Flicker, June the 22nd, 1935. Battle over control of bank system. What will the government do for money? Andover, murder of a tobacconist. Ah. Some cool hair. It is not the right time. It is not the right time. Dear Mr. Poirot, well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. The end of our affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexil on Sea on the 25th of this month. We're having a crazy time. Best wishes, ABC. The next crime will be in Bexhill. We must warn Jap to Scotland Yard. Did the letter indicate anything that might help the police? To be honest, I think we can already guess something about the next victim. But I need to think about it a little more. It's impossible to get through to Scotland Yard. Andover, Hampshire, population 31,200 inhabitants.
no doubt about it. Hastings is going bored. Hastings, it would appear that you are getting slightly thin on top. Really? I hadn't noticed. Dear Mr. Poirot, well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. The end of our affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexil on Sea on the 25th of this month. We're having a crazy time. Best wishes, ABC. Let us examine this more closely. Certain characters in the two letters may have similar defects. Yes, this eye is weird. Yes, this eye is weird. Let us examine the characters in this world. Hmm, the W is not printed properly. Mr. Poirot, well, what do you think? 
I believe that we're having a crazy time. Best wish. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. Nothing to report for these characters. Let us examine another word. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Yes, this I is weird. Yes, the A appears to be quite unusual. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. That's right, the A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Let us examine the characters in this world. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. No, this character does not appear to have any defects. Let us examine another word. Let us examine the characters in this world. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. No, this character does not appear to have any defects. Let us examine another word. Let us examine the characters in this world. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. Certain characters in the two letters may have similar defects. No, this character...
Yes, this eye is weird. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. Yes, the eye characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. My theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Both letters were written on the same typewriter and show the same characteristics. You surprise me, Poirot. You usually ignore material proof. But there is nothing usual about these case hastings. Nothing must be overlooked. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. So, Poirot, have you found something? Oui, I believe so. But I am afraid it is not enough to stop the murderer. Let us go and see Chief Inspector Chapa. I will explain there. <laughs> 